Ain't this what they been waiting for? You ready? It's Real Torm and I'm back with another one. So, Double Our Family, today we got a house review. We're going to be going to Waukegan, Illinois. This is a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom for $213,000. So, I'll see you guys when we get there. We finally here, Double Our Family. So, welcome to your beautiful neighborhood. Before we get inside, take a look at your neighborhood. Nice and calm out here. I can't believe it's this hot. And it's the day after Christmas in Illinois, it's crazy. Before we get inside, you gotta make sure you do the steps. Step number one, you're gonna check the perimeters and check the foundation on the outside of the house to make sure there's no big cracks. Step number two, you already know what step number two is. I see you guys when we get down there. Check this basement. And don't really smell wet down here. Do you think it smell wet down here? It don't really smell wet. Um, I don't see any black marks, like the mold substance or anything around the perimeters in the basement. So that's, that looks nice. But then we gotta find this water heater. The hot water heater in the, the furnace. Those big expenses. Here we go, wham! The hot water heater looks brand spanking new, actually. They still have, even have the paperwork right there. And the furnace, the furnace has seen better days. It looks a little on the older side. It don't look that old. But we gotta make sure we get an inspection because the inspector is gonna let us know if the furnace works or not. Because remember, when I bought my first property, guess what I had to do in, one, in six days? Buy a new furnace because I didn't know the steps. Now, the living space down here, I think it's actually pretty nice. Um, we can do TV here or TV. There's more outlets on that side, but I would do it right here. L couch. Get you a little rug and everything right here. Boom, put the TV right there. Wham, tune into a room, house reviews. Um, you can put a pool table down here, fool's bar. It's definitely enough room to get the job done. But let's go see what this is. So I have, oh, it's a bathroom down here. This thing is actually pretty big. It's huge. I wonder what they was doing right here. I'm not really sure. Maybe they wanted to put some other stuff. Maybe they was going to make just make it one big bathroom, but they ain't finish it. Then it has a closet in here as well. So you can store some stuff right down here or put some in there. And then they have the Whirlpool tub. I kind of like it lifted up a little bit. It's, it's, it's definitely different than usual. And they got the mirror up there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just a chill space right here. You know, drink some wine or something. And then the toilet, whoa, it's all the way up here. Make you feel like a king or a queen, sit up here and chill. Like bring me some grapes or something. But anyway. <laughs> so, then they have the water's working, so that's always a plus. Oh, right here. It doesn't look like a, it's actually pretty big. I mean, you could do a lot of things. I think they could have put a TV right here. They got the, the cable thing hooked up right there. You put one in the corner, boom, while you're chilling in the jacuzzi. It's actually pretty nice. Let's go take a look upstairs. Okay, they have a nice little sitting room right by the front door. So me, I mean, you can put some nice furniture here. It's definitely a decent size. It's a little awkward shape, but you can make it work. You can make it look a little different. You can put the couch right here, the TV right there, or you can go TV there. They have a million outlets in here, so we can put the TV pretty much anywhere we want to put it. And then you could put like some little stands and stuff, like a little stand here, or entertainment system or some, some family photos and everything, or like a dining room table in this area. But it's definitely a nice space. Oh uh, yeah, this is where the dining room table gonna go. Then we're gonna roll right into this kitchen area. Now, I have a little pantry right here. So you can put all the canned goods and all that stuff right in there. They left us some Sprite. Then we have, this huge fridge. Uh, I think we should get a new fridge though with our family because this one is, it's kind of old. I mean, it still worked though. We can get this in due time. We don't have to get it right away. And then the hardwood floors, I will actually, you know, sand them down and refinish them. I like the darker look and then make it look more cleaner. The countertops doesn't look bad at all. And then 
they actually painted these and they look amazing. They got like a little white gloss to them. They actually did a pretty good job with it. So remember, if you want to make your cabinets look a little newer, all you need to do is paint them and put the new hardware on them. Cabinet space, decent amount of cabinet space. Then we had the stove, just in case you want to cook. Even though I don't know how to cook, but um, the stove seems to be, let me check that thing, see if the thing working. All the, oh, there you go. We might gotta get a new stove, or maybe the gas off, either or. Um, stainless steel microwave, old school style. An ancient dishwasher, but I don't like how it looked this. That was poorly, poorly made. But anyway, wham, we got the washer and dryer. We gotta wash clothes, don't we? And this looks fairly new, so I'll keep this, keep that right in there. You can put some like detergent and everything right up there. And then let's take a look at the backyard. Same thing I got going on out here. This thing. Oh, they got the blocker. They got the blocker, blocker. Wham. It feel like summertime out here, it's crazy. Very nice size backyard. Me personally, I put a fence up. So I want to block it in. So I put the fence right there, wham, wham. So the kids, you know, get a trampoline or whatever they need to do back here. They can, you know, play hopscotch right here and all that stuff, jump rope, basketball. So that's a very nice space in the backyard. They got the mulch down there. Then we can come right into the family room. This room is enormous. It's huge. I mean, you can put whatever you want in here with no problems at all. You can put the TV as big as you would like to. You can put stands, put a stand over there. You can put the biggest couch they have at the furniture store. If you want to run it this way, oh, we gotta go this way, the cable cord right here. TV right here, huge couch, L couch right there, bam. Tables and everything over there. It's a very nice, large space. They got the fresh paint. I just redo the floor, that's about it. Then we have, a nice little closet, hang up some coats and everything when people come in. And then we're running to bathroom number two. What it do? The floor looks not bad at all. They put the brand new paint in there. I will keep everything that's in here. Um, it definitely can get the job done, but if you like to update it, it's really up to you. But it don't look bad at all to me. Now we gotta go ahead Take a look upstairs though with our family. This place is not bad, it's actually pretty big. Okay, we got the real hardwood floors upstairs right when we walk up, so that's definitely a plus. Everybody loves real hardwood. Then we're gonna roll right into this room now. Oh, they got the brand new, oh, this carpet feeling decent too. There's some decent carpet right here. Brand new carpet and they put the brand new paint in here. We will have to get some lamps though because no, you don't have any light fixtures in here. So, but this is a decent sized room. Um, I would go probably a full size bed in here with the end tables and um, throw a little TV and stuff in there. And the closet is actually pretty nice. So whoever moves in, if they got plenty of clothes like myself, we can, that thing though, we gotta get that fixed too. But this is actually pretty decent. Nice and, nice and clean looking too. Let's go ahead and take a look at this bathroom, cause it's the same exact as it's the same exact way as bathroom number two, except it has the shower with the tub. Um, just so you guys, just so you know, the reason why people hook up the bathroom and the kitchen is because that's the most valuable things in the house. So if you do those two things, you're always going to get way more money for the house in the end. So. Over in due time, you can fix it up slowly but surely. Just fix little stuff, do the floor, get a new vanity. And honestly, I got that vanity vanity in a basket pack for like $130 at Home Depot. So you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money. Just do some paint and all that type of stuff. So gotta make sure we remember that. Got the linen closet. Throw the towels and the sheets and all everything right in here. Close that up. We're gonna stay the master suite for last. Let's roll into the perfect room for the kids with the brand new carpet, brand new paint in here. Um, it's a little on the, it's not the biggest, that's why I would put a younger child in here, put a twin size bed in here. Put a little TV in there for them. 
they, but they got plenty of closet space, so that's always a plus. Oh, 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 it just takes a little while for the lights to come on. Old school stuff. Then we gotta go ahead and check this one out. I mean, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms for 218. The neighborhood is extraordinary. I don't think we can beat that. We can go ahead and put a full size bed in here this way with the end tables. Or we can go this way. They got the cable thing on both sides, so it's always a plus. I don't know why I cannot stand when it's not no light fixtures in the room. I don't know. But closet space is decent. We can make this work. They got the little kid in here. I mean, the house ain't, ain't bad. The neighborhood is, for a house like this, in this neighborhood, it at least costs probably like 250, 260. You know, around that area. So, I mean, it's some little stuff that I would do here and there, but for the most part, I think it's a go. Then we got the, look at the closet space in here. Oh, no life fish, I forget. So we got the closet here, and it's connected to over here, so it's got the walk-in, they got all of it in one. So this would be, we could put the women's side over here so they can have a little bit more room. Put them little shoes and all that stuff right there, skirts and dresses and everything they wear right there. Then we take over this side. And walk through that thing. And we can go ahead and put, I would say king size bed with no issues at all. With the end tables and all. I mean, it's plenty, plenty, plenty of space in here. You can go to California camp if you would like to. It's just really all, all about preference. And guess what else it got? Another bathroom. The flooring. Got the white tile. They got the white on white on white on white on white on white on white. They got the his and her sink. They got the two medicine cabinets right in there. Um, the shower. Actually, doesn't look bad. All of this stuff is plain, James. It's a clean canvas, so you can kind of, we kind of do what we want to do with it, which is always a plus. But again, four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, and beautiful walking in Illinois. You can't beat the price with two hundred and thirteen thousand. For anyone who's looking to buy or sell any property, you can always email me at roamshouseviews at gmail.com. Also, if you tune into the video, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Tell a friend to tell a friend. So we can with our family. It's real Tyrone. And I'm gone.